Hi, this is a one take tutorial for Cricut in 10 minutes or less. I'm going to be making a shirt for my friend. She's a science teacher and she wanted a shirt that said, I know I do science like a girl, try and keep up. I'm going to take inspiration from the pictures that I found on Google for that shirt. And uh, she's a chemistry and physics teacher, so I want to kind of stick to that. But she does teach a little bit of uh, earth space and um, life as well. So it'd be completely okay to use these icons right here. Now, where I get my icons would be um, this, this website called The Noun Project. The Noun Project is a website where you can find um, icons to use for your projects. I downloaded quite a few icons already, and I just want to show you what it's like to download one. It's very easy, and it's free, so that's great. I'm going to type in science and see what kind of stuff I can pull up. So I have, um, it looks like a cell. It looks like a microscope and some chemistry stuff, some planets with some chemistry stuff. And the aesthetic I'm looking for, like I, like you saw earlier, was an aesthetic with a chunky design and minimal detail. Chunky design is very easy for Cricut, and you can see it clearly on a t-shirt from a distance. Stuff with, min with a very thin... Um, lines. It's very hard for a cricket to, um, it's easy for a cricket to print or cut. It's just hard for you to weed. So try to stick with getting thick, chunky designs with minimal detail. And so I'm going to find something different. This is pretty cool. Um, this looks actually, this is perfect. Um, this is a molecule diagram with the I think it'd look great. So I'm going to hit click or I'm going to click get this icon. And then I'm given two options, pro download or a basic download. Pro download is for somebody who um, owns a company and plans on selling this. I'm going to hit basic download. I'm going to hit for an art project. And I'm going to hit uh, choose use. And then... Um, SVG, all right, SVG, that's a vector graphic, and it's going to download down here, okay? So this one is 236, just for future reference for when I go to Cricut. Now I'm going to go to Cricut, and I'm going to hit Upload. I'm going to hit Upload Image. These are previous images that I've downloaded for this shirt. I'm going to hit Upload Image, and I'm going to hit Browse. And the... The last one we did was this one, I believe. Hit continue. Yeah, so this is that molecule. And then I'm gonna hit save. And now it's in my recently uploaded images inside Cricut Design Space. Now I'm gonna show you this again real quick. I'm gonna go into the, to any, I'm gonna pick a random icon. I'm not gonna keep it, I'm just gonna hit random. He looks like he's uh, climbing or something. And then hit get this icon. I'm going to hit basic download. I'm going to hit continue. I'm going to hit for an art project. I'm going to hit choose use. And then I'm going to hit SVG. And then it'll download. I'm not going to download though because I don't need this one. So now that we know how to use the noun project into getting our, our icons, I'm going to quickly throw together something that you would um, to make this shirt. I would... I'm going to take those boxes. You can see this box right here that's around this flask and the box that's around this microscope and this, I'm going to try to recreate that. So I'm going to hit new. I'm going to hit replace because I'm, I think I started already. So I have a, I upload and I'm going to take this box. This box I got from the noun project. It was, I just typed in square and then I found a rounded square, a rounded edge square. So I'm going to, Click this and then insert image. And I'm going to pick a reasonable size. It can always be changed later. And then I'm going to duplicate this. three. Uh, so I have three boxes that are the exact same size. That's important to do now because you don't want to make a box later 
and then try to figure out, well, you could easily figure out the size by just typing in these numbers, or you could just duplicate it now. I'm going to select all of these and I'm going to align to the top. So now they're all straight. And I'm going to add these. I'm going to put a, I think I'm going to put a planet. I'll do that last because she teaches chemistry and space. So I'm going to do chemistry or something for chemistry there. So I'm going to upload a new one. And then a really good one for chemistry is this one. I like this one. I'm not going to worry about that little bubble right now. I'm just going to put this in there and make sure it looks good. And then I can always center it and align it later. And then I'm going to add something for physics. Thermometer would be good for physics. So I'm going to hit insert image. Now I'm going to insert this thermometer. I think I'm going to put a thermometer with an atom. So I think I think that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna move all this out of the way to right here, how they have it on the shirt, and I'm gonna get a text box and I'm gonna write Make sure the text box is selected and write, I do science. Hmm. Okay, there we go. Now move this right here. And I'll align it. I can align this later. So I'm going to pick a font that's a little more. I want three different styles of font. The first one could be something sciencey. I don't know something um, you would find on a cover in, of an old science textbook, possibly some kind of fancy letters while that's thinking. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to shrink it a little bit, though. It just doesn't want to be shrunk. Hmm. Oh, there we go. All right. So I do science. And then I'm going to get another text box and I'm going to put like a girl. All right. Now this one, I want to be girlier letters. So I'm going to find something, I don't know, fancy and prettier, but I want it to be easy to read. I won't, I don't want to do cursive. I want it to be, there we go, that's nice. So this is uh, certainly flowy and kind of like a girl. So I'm going to add another text box and then I'm going to write, try to keep up. And I'm going to move that. And I don't want to keep this same font, so I do not know what I spelled. And I'm going to pick a different font. There we go. I like that. So let's move it all along and then let's take a look. So 
I do science like a girl. Try to keep up. I appreciate it. I hope uh, you learned something.